So I was messing around in Premiere and I discovered an insane effect that will blow you away. I mean this requires some skills to pull off, but don't worry, after watching this easy tutorial you will be the king of effects in Premiere Pro. So we're gonna transition from the first clip of a woman into a super close up of an eye, without seeing a cut. So step number one, we need to match both the eyes. To do that, duplicate the second clip and drag it on top of the first video. Of course make sure it's selected. Then head over to the effect controls and find the opacity property. Click the ellipse mask tool and go to the program monitor. Here you can adjust the mask so that it fits around the eye. Do this as precise as you can. If needed you can increase the feather just a little bit to make it smoother. When it's done, go to the first frame of your video and click the motion property. Now in the program monitor you can adjust the scale and position to match the other eye. Then set a position keyframe. We're gonna animate the eye position so that it actually looks like a different eye. Move the playhead all the way to the end. Then click the motion property and adjust the position again. Then move to the middle of the two Two keyframes and adjust the position again. Keep doing that until you see that the eye is perfectly tracked. Now we also need that for the second eye in our clip. Now simply duplicate the first clip. We're gonna reposition this one onto the second eye. Now we can't just adjust the position, otherwise we would mess up the keyframes. So a little workaround is to right click your clip and put it in a nested sequence. Then click on OK. Now we can adjust the position without messing up the tracking. Awesome. Next up we're gonna zoom in on our eye. To do that we're gonna create an adjustment layer. Click the new item button and choose adjustment layer. Then drag it on top of your clips. We're doing this because everything we do on this adjustment layer will be applied to all the clips below. So no need to create double animations or nesting. Next, go to the effect library and find the transform effect. And drag it on the adjustment layer. Now set a cut in between both the clips. Because the second one is gonna need another animation than the first one. Now with the adjustment layer selected, go to the effect controls and find transform. In the beginning of your video, set a position and scale keyframe. Then grab the playhead and move to the end of the clip. Scale up and position the clip until the eye is taking up a big portion of the frame. Now expand the velocity curves of both the scale and position property. You can then pull these levers to ease the keyframes and make the animation start super smooth and then go faster gradually. Now if you scroll down, increase the shutter angle to 180 degrees. This will add motion blur to the animation. Alright that looks great. Now I was just browsing story blocks and I found this light leak which will come in handy later. Let me download it real quick, it will be saved in the project window automatically. By the way, story blocks is also sponsoring this video. Thank you. You can also download title animations and templates right from within Premiere. It's super easy to edit them in the Essential Graphics panel and bam, there you go. Now there's so much more than just templates. You'll find a million high quality royalty free stock videos from all over the world. Whatever you need for a video, just type it in the search bar and there you go. Space videos, planets, stars, nature clips, sport videos and so much more. You can download it all without leaving Premiere. Oh and all these clips are in HD and 4K resolution. Now we also have our very own page full of videos that we shot specially for you guys. Most of them are shot in a lock profile and that way you have all the control when color grading the footage. Now on other stock websites you need to pay an expensive price per clip that you want to download. But on Storyblocks you will get everything for one set price. Storyblocks saves me so much time every day and I truly recommend it to any creative. So take back creative control with Storyblocks unlimited royalty free stock library and tools today by going to storyblocks.com forward slash premiere basics or just Click the link down below. Now let's get back to the eye zoom effect because it's time for step 3. Connecting the first clip to the second one smoothly. Select the second adjustment layer and go back to the effect controls. To create movement in this clip we're gonna have to zoom in. But because this picture is already extremely close up we need to zoom out first. Of course when we do that these black bars will appear. Luckily I know a quick and easy way to fill this up using Photoshop. Simply drag your eye picture on your canvas. Now with the toolbar select the rectangular marquee tool. We're gonna use this to select the image. Make sure to leave a small gap because Photoshop will need that information. Next, invert the selection by hitting Ctrl plus Shift plus I. Now everything that needs to be filled up is selected. To do that, click on Generate a Fill and then on Generate. And there you go, that looks awesome. Next, go to File and then Export. Then choose Export As. On the top right, choose JPEG. Now scroll all the way down until you find Embed Color Profile. Make sure it's disabled. That way your colors will look the same in the exported version. Now drag it back in Premiere, replace it with the second clip. Now we have more than enough space to zoom out. And now it's time to animate it. First we need to match the size and position with the eyes of the first clip. To do that you can use the guides in the program monitor. Set the playhead to the last frame of your first clip. Then go to the button editor and in the 
program monitor, find the ruler toggle and drag it in between the other buttons. Then click on OK. You can now drag the guides out of the rulers to match them with your eye. Next, move the player to the first frame of the second clip and make sure the adjustment layer is selected. Then go to the effect controls. Using the transform effect, try to match the scale and position of the eye exactly with the guides. The more accurate this matches, the better the transition. Now set a scale and position keyframe and move further in time. Scale up the clip and adjust the position again. Then expand the keyframe velocity. This time you want to create a curve like this because we want the zoom to stop slowly. Again, scroll down and increase the shutter angle to 180 degrees. You know, motion blur. Now the animation looks awesome already, but in step 4 we're gonna make it a whole lot smoother. And for that we're gonna use some lens distortion. First go to the project window and create a brand new adjustment layer. Once you have it, drag it on top of both the clips. Then go to the effects library and find the lens distortion effect. Head over to the effect controls and decrease the curvature until it looks something like this. Then move the player to the beginning of the clip and set the curvature to zero. Now move towards the end of the clip and again set the curvature to zero. You can of course again expand the curves to make the animation start and end smoothly. And that looks amazing, but in step 5, things are gonna get crazy. We're gonna zoom into the eye to another location, kinda like a portal. First, we're gonna create a mask inside the pupil. To do that correctly, we're gonna disable the tracks with the adjustment layers for a second. Select the clip and move to the effect controls. Then go to opacity and click the circle mask. Now check the invert option. In the program monitor, adjust the mask so the pupil is completely selected. If you want, you can add a little feather to it as well. Now we can drag a clip below it and then you can see it through the eye. The only issue is that the clip underneath will also follow the animations we created. So to bypass that, we must nest the second clip with the adjustment layers. So select them and right click it, then choose nest. Next, we're gonna zoom in on the eye so that the clip underneath it will become visible. To do that, go inside the nested sequence by double clicking it. Then go to the adjustment layer we used to animate the eye. Head over to the effect controls and just like you've learned before, use the transform effect to zoom in until the eye is completely gone. Next, go back to the timeline and close the nested sequence. We're gonna animate the bottom clip as well so that the animation is smoother. To do that, go to the effect controls and animate the scale property so that it zooms in just a little bit. And now it's time to finish the effect. Remember the light leak we found on Storyblocks? Well, let's drag it on top of the video. In the effect controls, find opacity and set the blending mode to screen or add. Whatever fits your video. Guys, that looks amazing. Now, creating effects like this and editing in general can take up a lot of your time, which is why you need to optimize your workflow in the video on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always stay creative.